Hello children, let us continue with our lesson, place value. Bruno says the largest five digit number is le one less than a hundred thousand. So we know the largest five digit number is obtained by putting nine in all the five place values. Ella places look. 9 is the largest 5 digit number. So we will start with uh, writing the largest 5 digit number. 10,000, 1000, 100, tens and ones. This is a 5 digit number. So largest 5 digit number is 99,999. Now the smallest Six digit number is obtained by adding one to the largest five digit number. Or else, if we subtract one from the smallest six digit number, we get the largest five digit number. So we just have to check whether this is the smallest six digit number. If the smallest six digit number is what Bruno said is correct. So let us see what is 100,000. So we will write the place values. 100,000 in the remember we know it is written in international place uh, value system. So thousands and ones. So it is grouped into three. Hundreds, tens, ones. Hundreds, tens, ones. 100,000. Click. So 100,000 la 100,000. This is 100,000. Is this the smallest six digit number? Yes, this is the smallest six digit number. So, what Bruno said is correct. Smallest six digit number ne column one less cycle la number and a small, uh, largest five digit number. So, we just have to check whether the number that Bruno said is the smallest six digit number. We know the smallest six digit number is obtained by putting one in the hundred thousands place and all the other numbers being zero. So, Bruno's number is one hundred thousand which is the smallest six digit number. Smallest six digit number na one nil se dala nam kende item we get the largest five digit number. So, what Bruno said is correct. Now, we are going to look at multiplication by 10, 100 and 1000. So, this is simply, uh, this is easily explained with the help of place value system. Multiplication by 10. Rather, place value card now can be 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. So, 1, 1 in a into 10 g dollar. We get 10. 10 into 10 g dollar, we get 100. 100 into 10 g dollar, we get 1000. So, multiplication by 10 is equal to shifting it by one place to the left. 10 on to multiply g on another. Or a decimal, or you place value, higher place value, like less till you shift the equivalent. Or as we move to higher place values, it is equal to multiplying it by 10. So, 67 into 10 find the an item. Sixty-seven into ten. We have to move this to one place to the left. Left. In a video, put a one place left. Since it's vacant, we put a zero. So, sixty-seven into ten, we get six hundred and seventy. Similarly, to do division, division by ten, shift it one place to the right. Shift it one place to the right. So divided by 100 is now shifted two places to the right. So you are given a number 3600. You have to divide it by 100. When the enough two places are right, it is shifted now. In the thousands place, now we will start with tens place. 
so we get 36. E render or else it is equal to removing these two zeros. Okay. Uh, removing these two zeros in the parayatta then the reason in the chain in yellow. If we have uh, digits in tens and ones place, the division by ten, we cannot remove these two values. So it has to be shifted to two places to the right. So uh, division by hundred, when the last two digits are zeros, it is equal to taking out these zeros. Or else it is equal to shifting these numbers by two places to the right. Then it end place a right like shift it. So hundreds place le lada will move to ones place and the digit in the thousands place will move to tens place. So that is division three thousand six hundred divided by hundred is thirty six. Now let us look at more examples. 29 into a number will give you 2900. So here, uh, place left place shift I has shifted by two places. So this is equal to multiplying by 100. Now 2700 divided by is equal to 27. You have to find the missing number. So by how many places did it shift to the right? 2700 has become 27. It has shifted two places to the right. Like two places to the right is division by 100. One place to the right angle, it is division by 10. Two places to the right is division by 100. Now let us look at the other question. You do remember? Divide a number divided by 100 gives you 3040. Like divide by 10 g, uh, divide by 100 g dala, this number shifts two places to the right. So we have to shift it two places to the left. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. But two places right like shift the number 3040. This have to be shifted two places to the left. Oh, 10,000 will the hundreds, thousands place will the will now shift to 100,000. So, 3, 0, 4, 0 and you have to add two more zeros. So, this is 304,000. 304,000. So, this is 3, 0, 4, 0. 0, 0. It is into 100. So that is how we obtain this number. Now, if you multiply 606 by 10, what changes and what stays the same? Discuss your answer with your partner. When we multiply a number by 10, these digits shift one place to the left. So the digit remains the same, but the value changes. Value is equal to multiplying by 10. 100, 100 where in another now becomes thousands. The digits in the number 15 total 6. That is 5 plus 1 0 for 680. Find all the whole numbers that have digits with a total of 6. Do not include 0 in any of your numbers. So, when you add two digits of a number, you should get the value 6. So, 1 and 5 and 1 add it up 680. Similarly, we know when you add 2 and 4, you get 6. Like, so, two digit numbers, 2 and 4 digits, two digit numbers, 24 and 42. So, the digit sum of these two numbers will be equal to 6. Similarly, if the 15 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So, 15 as well as 51 will give you a digit sum of 6. Think of any other number which when added, the digits when added will give you 6. Can you think of any of the number? Yes, 33 when added, 3 plus 3 is 6. Click. So, uh, these are the numbers whose digits when added will give a digital sum of 6. With what is the largest number? 
you can see the largest number among this is 51 and smallest number smallest number is 15 so digital sum in one other digits in the itra digits and or digits in the lm goody uh, totally find it and you get the digital sum fill in the missing numbers 6 into 10 is 60 16 to 10 is 600 what is 6 into 100 6 into 100 is 600 you can see that multiplying a number by 100 is equal to multiplying multiplying the number by 10 two times Similarly, division by 100 in Oka, 1400 divided by 100. Take off these two uh, zeros from it, you get the answer 14. 1400 divided by 10 at Triana, take one zero out of it, you get 140. 140 divided by 10 at Triana, take this zero out, you get 14. So, dividing by, thousand, uh, dividing by 100, is equal to dividing by 10 two times. So this is about multiplying and dividing by 100. So we are co uh, concluding lesson 1, finding the largest number. Given a set of number cards, we know how to find the largest number and smallest number. Arranging the numbers in ascending order will give you the smallest number and arranging the number in descending order will give you the largest number. But if you look at the digits, 3, 9, 0, 9. Since one card is 0, four digit numbers are fine. This is not the first place. When you put it in the first place, it becomes a three digit number. So if you ask to find the four digit numbers, what we will do is, this is remove the smallest number. This is 3. Now arrange the rest of the numbers in ascending order. 3099. So, this is the smallest four digit number that can be obtained by these number cards. Any largest number of India, Manalo, descending order la range here. Descending order la range here, 9930. Like, tick the largest number that can be made using these four digit cards. This is the largest number. This is 9000. 930. 9930. So, uh, finding the largest number and the smallest number with a given set of number cards, we have done it in class 2. Largest number find here, arrange the numbers in descending order. To find the smallest number, arrange the numbers in ascending order. If one of the number cards are 0, uh, keep the 0 aside, find the smallest number. 0 name and the smallest number find here. That is the highest place value leader. Arrange the rest of the numbers in ascending order. That will give you the smallest uh, 4 digit number. So 4 digit numbers. Uh, largest number, smallest number is clear. Uh, I hope it is clear. Now arranging in ascending order and descending order we have done in our previous lessons. The class 2 and the lessons. Look for the digit in the highest place value. The later term highest is the biggest number. That is go to the next place value out the highest number. So that is uh, how we find the largest number. So uh, with that we conclude our first lesson. So first lesson is uh, numbers and number system. We will introduce either the negative numbers or Numbers less than 0 are negative numbers. To show that it is less than 0, we prefix it. That is the negative sign. You see that represent you. And then we saw how to add and subtract. Count on and count back. Like number line you see that is counting on and counting back. Then we saw place value. We saw two different place value systems. Indian place value as well as international place value. Till... Uh, Fifth, fifth digit, both the numbers use the same place value. Sixth digit to the turn place value will change to another. So, uh, then we saw how to multiply and divide numbers by 10 and 100. That's all with lesson 1. Any doubts, please do post.